Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am beyond excited because I just got in the mail two of my grill items from the Puella Magi Madoka Magica anime slash movie. They are two of the three licorice dolls from the Puella Magi Madoka Magica collaboration they had not too long ago. In case you don't know, Lika dolls are basically the Barbies of Japan. They are super super popular and you can find them everywhere and the good thing about those dolls is that they are very cheap and licorice are a new series of dolls that are meant for us adult collectors and today I am going to be reviewing Akemi Homura which is the magical girl version and the only one so far that has come out. Here is the box and as you can see it is a very simple design. We have the Takara Tomi logo right here and we have the huge window that displays the doll. Here at the bottom we have a ribbon that says the character that they are making and I have no idea what this is. This is another logo. Here's one of the sides. It follows the exact same design. The back shows you the warnings and precautions. Everything is in Japanese. Here is the top and here is the bottom. And here's how the doll looks like before you take her out of the cardboard. I have to say, I am so happy that this is so simple to remove because polyp dolls are really, really hard. Inside of the box, you are going to find Homura's headband and it comes in this tiny little bag because the actual doll comes with Madoka's ribbon and it's so beautiful. I am back with my thoughts on the Licorice Akemi Homura doll. And before I start talking about her, I would like to first say a couple of words about this box because, oh my gosh, when I got it, I was like, thank you so much because I really like the size of these boxes. I have a lot of pulley dolls and all of their boxes have so much space inside that you can actually reduce to make the boxes smaller then when I saw this I was like this is perfect for storage. Let's start talking about this doll and I am going to follow the same type of review that I use with my bullet dolls. So this hair is not the best hair ever however I really like it. Uh, it does not get really frizzy but you can tell that the hair has a lot of hairspray in it so it is a little bit crunchy kind of hard to handle but I actually really like it because it does not get frizzy. And in case you're wondering, this hair is rooted. It is not a wig. She comes with Madoka's bow right there. It looks so cute and I kind of want to leave her forever with this. But she also has her normal headband and it's really nice. It's very simple. I don't think it's going to break that easily if you don't play with it too much. Now, let's talk about the head because that's something that actually caught my attention when I was researching about these dolls. 
The normal Lika dolls come with a totally different a head sculpt. I was actually really surprised and really glad that the Takara Tomy company decided to give them to the Licarized dolls a full new head sculpt so they look a lot like the actual anime characters and that's something that lets me know that they really cared about details which is great. I really like the face of this doll everything is printed on which is makes it a little bit more accurate to the anime it's really nice, I don't see any kind of like paint chipping or anything like that, so I really like that. I think this coloring is really, really great, it is really accurate, I really like that there are no uh, strings coming off, all the seams lines seem to be really nicely closed and very clean. Uh, she has a lot of printing going on in her clothes, just in case you're wondering. Uh, very good, very delicate actually, I don't know if you can see right here. Uh, can you see this right here like wait can you see right there the thread is coming off so I don't recommend you to, to take the clothes off of this doll I took it off because I wanted to show you the bottom part but I don't think you should do it if you are planning on getting this doll she also comes with her soul gem it is actually really beautiful you can see it right there I think my only tiny little problem is that you can actually see that the soul gem is going through her hand. She also comes with her stockings. I think they're actually very beautiful, very nice quality. I don't think these stockings stain the doll, so that's totally fine. She comes with her tiny little diamonds right there, really beautiful. And I think my biggest complaint about this doll are actually the shoes. Like, look at those huge shoes. Like, half of the shoe is her feet, like her feet starts like right at this point back. These doll's body when it comes to joints, they are very simple joints. I'm actually going to leave you a picture of the naked body of a Lika doll just to show you how it looks like. This is the type of body that has like the plastic and then the wire inside that you can actually bend. But I'm not going to bend it because, well, that kind of plastic tends to break over time and I want to keep her in a good condition so the retail price for this doll is around 65 dollars or something like that i don't really remember because i did not pay retail price i actually a friend of mine found them in nakano broadway for like around 50 something dollars for each one of the dolls and i am super happy that i got this doll she is actually a very nice quality she is a little bit cheap but just because she's cheap it doesn't mean that doll is a bad quality this is actually really, really nice and I am super surprised and really, really glad about it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That's always really nice. If you have any kind of um, questions, opinion or concern about Licorice Akemi Homura right here, please leave them all in the description box. I will answer you as soon as possible. Don't forget to check other videos that I have done in the past and please subscribe for more videos in the future. So see you in the next one. Bye.